Hello and welcome to my first installment of AMV Log. The purpose of these videos is to teach you in a matter of minutes some very basic skills and techniques in video editing. And one question that I've commonly be a been asked is uh, how do I mask and select my video clips? The truth is I use Photoshop to mask. So in this video I'm going to be using Sony Vegas and Photoshop. And one thing I'm going to point out right off is that there is no wrong method of masking. It's just a matter of what you feel most comfortable with. This is the one I feel most comfortable with. But with that in mind, I'm going to be teaching you something very simple and basic inside Sony Vegas called Still Image Sequence Importing. Uh, and this is just a fancy way of saying you're going to import a video clip that's been masked or selected. In this case, I'm going to be working with this video clip and I'm going to be blocking its background. Uh, and this clip is basically the end result looks like this, where you can clearly see the background's been replaced with something else. Now I'm not going to show you how to make that effect, and I'm not going to show you how to mask. I'm going to show you how to import this mask since the other two topics are something that we can save for a later video. But what we're going to do is I'm going to mask inside Photoshop. I find it much more useful to mask in here since you can do a whole lot more. So to import my video clip I'm going to first render it. I'm going to go ahead and render it as a QuickTime video or an MOV. I'll render that and save it and then I'll go to Photoshop and I'm going to open specifically that video clip. I'm going to go to File, Import, Video Frame to Layers. And I'll just choose my video clip. Here it is, Renton. Now when this window opens, just make sure the Make Frame Animation box is checked and press OK. Push OK. And it's going to generate every single frame that uh, this video clip has down here on the animation timeline. If you don't have an animation timeline, just go to Windows and click Animation. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be teaching you how to mask specifically. Uh, basically, everyone has their own methods of masking so you can actually stick to that. The point is to import what we mask here into Sony Vegas. So let's say you're done masking every single frame that you have on the timeline and you're now ready to render. Go to export render video. This window will appear and just save it under a name. Let's call it Renton. And make sure on the, P on the image sequence it's on PNG. On the render option the alpha channel has to be on straight unmatted. That's very important. Then you're ready to render. Just click render and it will render all these into an image sequence. So now we're going to come back to Sony Vegas and we're going to import our clip that we just rendered inside Photoshop. And when we open the file, you're, we're going to be able to see how each individual frame that we mask has been saved as individual images. So we're going to click on the first one. We're going to come down here where it says Open Steel Image Sequence. Check that box. And it's going to import every single one of these images, all 45 of them, into a single video clip. Let's push Open. And we're going to name our file. Let's name it Renton. Okay. And we're going to push OK. And as you can see, it's been saved or it's been imported into Sony Vegas as one single video clip, not as 45 different individual images. We can put that in our timeline. And voila! Let's push play. And there it is. A very simple way of masking or a quick way of masking and a quick way of making it into a single video clip inside Sony Vegas. With that in mind, we have come to the end of our video. And uh, I would like to invite you to watch any of Cossier's AMV Log videos, as well as any that appear on this channel or that our studio makes. But if you have any questions or would like to request for us to touch a specific topic, go ahead and write down your comments or questions below, and uh, I'll try to cover them in the next video. Thank you, and have a good day.